Okay, hey guys. So limbs is over here. That's what I was saying when I was doing my hands like this. You can see his limbs. Hello everyone. So <clears throat> we're gonna answer some questions. Um, we're gonna allow people to ask questions, but I'm not gonna allow people to be nasty or insulting. If people wanna ask questions, that's fine. Okay. Um, um, you get to see, only my members get to see him in the member stream after this. He's not gonna, I'm not gonna show his face here. Are you guys back together officially? I mean, not really, I guess. We're just kind of dating each other. What do you have to say? Yeah, we're dating. I mean, I mean, we were together. Uh, I mean, not everything it's complicated. is like great, for, great for YouTube. Uh, yeah. At the same time, like, I don't think we're not dating anybody else. I feel like as rational adults that if we were, you know, dating somebody else or having sex with somebody else at minimum, you'd have to communicate to the other partner, at least so they understand that the risk they're accepting. Yeah. So, I agree. Uh, at the same time, I mean, we're dating. Complicated situation. It's complicated. Uh, um, let's see. How's it feel to be called gutter fun? Gutter fun. I didn't say that. I said he Maxine's didn't say, for gutter fun. He didn't say I was gutter fun, although I am. I like Maxine's, and it's great. I was recommending I was recommending things to tourists. So as they look up my post history, I mean, you know, I make Reddit posts. They ask for places in Hot Springs. And I said, there's all kinds of great places for fun. There's the Vault for high class fun, the Ohio Club for dancing fun, and Maxine's for gutter fun. Maxine's it's true. Is, it's my favorite bar. <laughs> it's one of mine too. That's why I recommended it to tourists for specifically for that. Thank you, Summer Baker, for becoming a member. It's like the alt crowd. They're like an alt crowd there. I mean, there's a lot of strange people there. It's great. It's great. We can see him for free on Reddit. No, you can't. I mean, very blurry. It's a it's a screenshot off of a video of Miron Spock on. Yeah. Okay. Um la la la. Because he know dead. about Andrew. I mean, I'm somewhat familiar about Andrew, and and he knows more, everything. More familiar than I'd like to be. He knows everything about Andrew. I don't hate Andrew. I know. I know she is obviously has very strong feelings about Andrew. Andrew's never done anything me wrong. I mean, I, I think the people that are unfaithful are probably generally more generally moral for whatever reason. At the same time, there's morality is complicated. So I don't hate Andrew. But I know what you're asking, and you're asking if he knows the whole story, and yes, he does. Yes. Um, okay. Ask him to show his big hands. That's a weird fucking request. <laughs> you just showed oh! your face! <laughs> you just showed your face. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go! There you go. <laughs> you're going crazy. There, there's a sneak peek for you. I never said it was smooth. <laughs> that was not smooth. Not smooth at all. Not smooth. Zero smooth. How's your UTI? It's getting better, I think. Um, what started the communication back up? Probably me. Definitely. Okay, definitely me. I'll let you feel that one. Me? I contacted him. I know that's what you guys want to know. Um, your behavior gave him too much control in the situation. Yeah. I actually agree. I agree with that too. Yeah, no, we, we've actually discussed that. I mean, we're two adults, we have a relationship. So, you know, as we were talking, we even discussed like the power imbalance and that, you know, it's not a healthy thing in either direction. So, I mean, that's not what I'm aiming for at all. Uh, yeah. So, we're, yeah, we're, we're aware of that and we are addressing that in our relationship. Um, who contacted who first after the split? I contacted him. Um, you do, why are you doing this if you guys aren't even together? Well, we're not not together. We're dating again. Now that you've finished the love bombing and trauma bonding stages, have you moved into the isolation stage? Turning Cindy's fans against her now that you've finished the love bombing and trauma bonding stages. I don't know. That's a really complex one. I don't, That's complicated, man. I don't know. How the did I isolation turn Cindy's fans stage. against her? I don't know. 
I'm sorry if I did that. You didn't do that. All that sounds pretty terrible. You didn't do that. Limbs, why do you keep giving her UTI? Ooh, that's a tough one. <laughs> that's a good question. Why do you keep giving her UTIs? I would guess the creek gave it to her. I we th I think it's the same one that I've had for like two months, and they keep giving me the macrobid, which is not it's not clearing it up. Because I was having symptoms like during the time that we were not even together. And not drinking enough water. Oh yeah, not drinking and enough probably water. Probably drinking too much. And drinking too much alcohol, yeah. Why is he interacting with people who are horrible toward you? Um, oh, now they want to get now they want the real answers. Well, I mean, I, I thought it would I thought it would be a good intro. Um, I mean, you know, she goes there. I mean, I figured it'd be compelling and exciting. I'm I'm mostly boring at the same time. If I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it fun and I'm going to do it my way. And I'm a little trollish. I like she you know. are. <laughs> it's trolling. <laughs> Uh, thank so you for becoming a member fun. of Pamela Marie. Um, and I also like to be clear, I don't want to do this. I didn't want to be on Cindy's channel. I was just, I figured we're going to come out. I forced him! No, I did not. It just kind of came oh, out. Oh, they're like, going to say I forced you now. No, I wasn't forced. At the same time, my original intent was to just stay off. I'd help her hold the camera and whatnot. And we'd go have a good time. She has to film on the weekend. Yeah, he's cool talking about my vlogs and stuff. Yeah, our vlogs and whatnot. I, I didn't intend to be like part of this channel or any of that. And he still doesn't intend to be. Yeah. This is to just be. to clear up all this bullshit from yeah. Reddit. I'm not going to keep coming on. I'm, I'll, I'll still do the exact same thing. I'll hold the camera and whatnot. I'm, I'm not looking for fame here. I don't want to be famous. I don't want to be on the camera. Um, but you can film me peeling garlic into something if my hands are in it. That's cool. Okay. That's fine. I've highlighted and see if you want to answer it or not. You might, well, read, it for, it. read it first to yourself. Why? No, I'll read it out loud if I'm okay. okay. So why was he even a sub dedicated to dunking on you? I want him to explain in his own words. Uh, I mean, honestly, the the very first introduction I ever had to any content with Cindy was that. So I, Cindy and I had discussed her vlog and her job, and she told me there was a lot of complex stuff and that she didn't want me to view it. So I respected her privacy, and I didn't actually look up any of her stuff on Reddit. I never watched a single video. Even to this day, I pretty much only read that uh, after we were broke up. I didn't feel like we had a coven anymore. Once I, once we were done, I was like, uh, when well, she was texting, she mentioned something that was going on that really hurt her. Uh -huh. I told you about the Andrew stuff. Right. So then I actually read those posts and, you know, I mean, honestly, yeah, there's some so ways, I mean, Cindy and I's relationship has been rocky in the past. And like some of those things that I read that Andrew went through, you know, they scared me. And I realized that in some ways she had kind of treated me there. Not, not to the degree that he was posting, like, whoa. But, like, you know, some of the, the behaviors that she had, it seemed to start at the same level. So, you know, I kind of identified with Andrew's posts. Uh, and I felt bad for him. I, you know, I had some empathy for him. Uh, at the same time, you know, they seem to be, like, you know, maybe, you know, inflated from what I've, I've experienced. It doesn't mean he didn't experience. I'm just saying I hadn't experienced that level. So, you know, I went there and I just started consuming the content. Uh, you know, I watched a couple of Cindy's videos, but they're really long, so... Uh, they're probably super boring for you. <laughs> God. Uh, so, I mean, you know, I just, I just kind of got in. We were broke up. I was angry. I was hurt. Uh, and, you know, I kind of found some solace in the Stark thread. And reading Andrew's stuff kind of made me think, like, hey, maybe, you know, I did make a good decision. So... Do you still think that? No. I mean, it's complicated. That didn't sound very convincing. I still don't think that, but I mean, <clears throat> obviously, you know, as we work on things, it does, you know, make me look back and be, you know, have, mm -hmm. have additional fear. Yeah, so I, I mean, know. that's what I mean. Like, I no, understand. I'm not upset I made the decision, but it's so complicated. I know, it I don't is normally complicated. make up and break up with people. It's that's not normally my thing. Well, you know, unless there's like 10 years apart, not Rosefus, what happened if he wanted to stop dating tomorrow? I guess I'd be single then. I mean,. That would be it. Oh, but do you think Cindy should shift back into gaming instead of airing her personal life online? Yeah. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He's already I talked to me about that. I absolutely think she should go back into gaming. Uh, well, there's a massive toxic community in gaming. At the same time, it's still not as large as, like, the toxic community, you know, that currently follows her. Uh, that a lot of people may just kind of check out of the snark part, which really hurts Cindy. Uh, I mean, honestly, I'm, uh, you know, just all the haters. Just, I, I don't feel like it's good for Cindy. So, the unlimited uh, validation that you get from the 
panel as well as the unlimited hatred. I know. Both of those things are probably both. Bad, bad for you. Um, does he feel that you're working to improve BPD antics or placed some boundaries? Do you think I'm trying to get better for my BPD? I think that she does want to get better and that it takes a lot of work and discipline and they need she, she, that she needs, you know, help maintaining that discipline. Mm -hmm. But do you think I'm trying? Yes. I'm fucking trying. Did you do your book today? Yeah. Oh, good job. Um, uh, y'all together, but swinging STI what? No. You want to address the swinger thing? Yeah, I'm not a swinger at all. I mean, it's just, that's ridiculous. All posts, it's just a, a single trash post in Reddit doesn't justify anybody. I'm pretty open-minded. I respect the poly community. Uh, you know, I troll on Reddit sometimes. It's okay. Like, honestly, I read the post and I was like, I don't know. This this isn't even that bad. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't I'm, think it was. I'm a total degenerate. So if you read that post and were like, oh my God, this guy's a scumbag. Like, man, you haven't even reached the tip of the scumbird. <laughs> So, I mean, honestly, I don't have a whole lot of shame, and uh, I mean, I do when I'm wrong. At the same time, like, eh, that's just that's just a Reddit trash post. No, I'm good. Somebody yeah. asked me how I felt about that. I don't give a shit about that. I don't give a shit about his po those Reddit posts at I, all. I haven't been unfaithful in a relationship since I was 21 years old, and I was unfaithful to every relationship before that. But give me a break. I was young. But <laughs> I'm I'm just. If my partner has to worry Who about that, Who lies about something like that? He didn't lie about anything. No, What I does didn't. that mean? I don't even know. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not going to tell you where he works. Are you insane? No. That is... <laughs> what the what, hell? I'm, 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 I'm a... monogamous i mean yeah are you reading the questions are you listening are we monogamous yeah i mean well if i'm in a committed relationship i'm monogamous but i haven't been with anybody since i've been with cindy so we're officially dating right now at the same time like i mean come on you guys get it it's just a label right now how do you plan to support cindy with her recovery uh i mean i i, I encourage he was reading that's why he didn't answer he wasn't he was reading the questions uh -oh. They thought because you hesitated to answer you were monogamous that you were over there I was hesitating. Over the questions. Yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah, so sorry. Jesus. Uh, oh, no, I, I try to help Cindy with her books. I encourage him. I said, do you want to talk about what happened in the book? He helps uh, me a lot. He encourages me a lot. I mean, I don't, I don't give her any advice outside of, like, do the work, put in the effort. And when after you learn it, you know, step back and try to introspect on it. He's you, been very supportive and very encouraging of me. And I appreciate that. We had, we had a very similar growing up. We both had really rough growing up. Like, uh, you know, I'm not going to get into the details, but basically. Uh, what are you drinking right now? Water. Electrolyte water, for God's I sake. I drink on weekdays. I only drink, I, I binge drink on the weekends. <laughs> Oh, by the way, anybody that says Cindy's dogs don't get taken care of, you guys are insane. Those dogs are spoiled rotten. Thank you. Insane. Pretty... They're spoiled rotten. They get, they get groomed regularly. I mean, they get fed like like soft food regularly and always have hard food. They go to the vet. She pets them all the time. They sleep in the bed. And they'll, they're they like so spoiled, they'll just crawl up on your head. <laughs> My mom didn't want to watch them this weekend because they're so cuddly. That she was like, I'm sick of those dogs. They <laughs> won't leave me alone. What's wrong with them? They'll never give up. I, I don't want to pet them. They're sweet babies. My mom's scared of dogs, but she watches Cindy's dogs. But, you know, she's just like, she's like, no, I can't do it this weekend. I have stuff to do, and they're terrifying me. How was chasing Cindy down the street at 2 a.m.? That was not fun. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's that's essentially, well, we'll just get to the breakup story. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're ready for it. They're asking All right, over, so, and over. I mean, Hold we, on, hold on. Let me thank this person. Okay. So, yeah, I'll let you tell it. We went to Spock. It was like our, I don't know, our first or second night at SpaCon. Se second. Second, yeah, the second night at SpaCon, and I had to drive, so I, you know, I was, I, I couldn't drink a lot. You know, we were out, we were having fun. So, Cindy had drank a lot. We went to, we had a bunch of open bars for due to VIP. Uh, didn't go well. When we got oh, back. Walls. What does that mean? Huh? Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. And then 
she got really upset. We got into an argument and she just screamed. I mean, it wasn't even that big of an argument. It just escalated so quickly and so rapidly and she just screamed, leave, like a banshee. I said, I said get out. Oh, get out. Yeah, she screamed, get out, like a banshee. I mean, it was terrifying. So I was like, uh, okay. So I started getting the things that I had and she was like, she, I mean, she started I'm not usually out. an angry drunk, but and I then, did this time, William. When I said I was okay, I was getting my stuff to leave. She also said she was leaving and ran out the door. So, so the first thing I did, make sure she didn't have her keys. And she didn't. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get my stuff. I figured she was just outside, like, walking around, cooling off. But, you know, when I walked around the building, I couldn't find her. So went looking for her and found her on the road. I asked her to get in the car. She was really upset. I was just, like, begging her to get in the car. After, a, after you know, begging her for a while, I just decided I, I can't do this. Can't do this. And we had gotten into a couple arguments before where she had been unreasonable. And, I mean, it, of course, wasn't this bad. At the same time, I just realized, like, this is not... This is not something I can live with. This is not a lifestyle I can live. So then I left. I mean, I felt bad for leaving her there. And you know, I tried to text her and like beg her to go home because I was like, if I can't make yeah, it, yeah, we were apartment. texting each other that night, like af like right after that, for a yeah. while. I mean, but yeah, I just drove away, and I mean, I mean, I just thought it was over at that point. You know, and honestly, I didn't think that she would text me and stuff either. I figured that she was done too. You know, it was so extreme. I, you know, I just didn't know what to do. So. Yeah. Well, I got awkward fast. It's <laughs> so I, I'm not going to tell you what the fight was about because that's personal. Just, um, I mean, we were just generally arguing. It wasn't even... Violence. I mean, it wasn't violence. It wasn't it was, violence. It was, it was loud, though. Um, yeah, relationships don't have to be volatile. I mean, some are... Arguments are okay. Like that, that's what I told her. I was like, arguments are normal. Like when you when you're upset at each other, or somebody's done something, and you know you tell each other about your feelings, you, you explain you know how whatever they did made you feel. Mm -hmm. Both of you should empathize with each other, and like you, you know you can be mad at each other even for a day, but that doesn't mean that your behavior has to rise to like yelling at each other, screaming at each other, or yeah. you know, like passive. Aggressive I mean, I just or, had a I had a BPD meltdown on it. I'm not always perfect either. I mean, in this case, yeah. I mean. You know, at the same time, I, I say things that upset Cindy all the time. And said, yeah. but today, before the live stream started, I said something that upset Cindy. Like, the thing is, is like, you know, we're not always perfect individuals of who each other are or who you want us to be. At the same time, like, you know, it should be like, I care about you. And, you know, I, you know, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for that to hurt you. But you should be able to rationalize things, like, reasonably and uh, without... You know, going, you know, getting extreme. Like you can be mad at each other. That's normal. Fights are normal. Screaming at each other and and running down the street. That's not normal. Is it true that you threw yourself down the stairs? And that didn't even happen while I was here. Yeah, I we I think we had been. I think it was like two days after that. I she hadn't fallen down the stairs when I was following her. She didn't fall down the stairs when she left. No, that as far was as after, I, know. I think they're just talking about in general. I don't think they. Mean no, she that. never has thrown herself down any stairs. All right, so we're going to take care of this one. Why did I unblock her? Let's scroll. Can we... I can't scroll over there. Okay. So there's a question. I, I didn't see the rest of the question because it was scrolling fast. But so it's like, why did I unblock her? So the thing is, is like at first we, I thought we were through. Then we started like, I was just like, man, it's not going to work. And then we, you know, we started arguing via text again. So I wasn't the first time I didn't actually block her. I just wasn't responding because I was at work. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on one second. I was not hit. Did you just say I was hitting Andrew? I never hit Andrew. That is some bullshit. So you can just fucking fuck that. Andrew told her she had BPD and she was hitting him. So she went to see someone about it is not true. Andrew did t suspect. I I'm so sorry I interrupted you, but that really pissed me off. Um, Andrew did suspect I had BPD. And that's the first time when I got diagnosed when I went, when I was like in my mid 30s. Um, but then I went again after he left me and got re-diagnosed with BPD. But I, I did not hit Andrew. I just want to make that very clear. There was no physical violence in our relationship. Thank you. Okay, go continue. I'm know, sorry. I don't remember where we're at. <laughs> okay. Oh, why did I block her? I, oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Block her. I, was, I was just not texting her back because I was at work. And then we started text fighting and I have to work. I'm serious about my job. So I was like, no. So I blocked her because I told her to stop. She didn't stop and I blocked her. Yeah. And then so when I was off work, I unblocked her. Mm -hmm. And for like a couple of days I did that because I couldn't handle the 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 texts and whatever. Yeah, I was I was texting him and it was getting emotional and he was trying to work. 
and it was just so he blocked me. Yeah, and when we were totally done, there she did send me something that she was. I felt like it was unfair. I felt like the conversation wasn't going anywhere, and you know, so I blocked her, and it was a final time. So the first two times I blocked her is because I was at work, and the third time I blocked her was I was done, and that's when she. Was She'll able do to, it again, Hart. Yeah, I mean, I, I hope she doesn't. I mean, we're working on it. I'm willing to tolerate some level of bad behavior as long as there's you know forward progress towards you know like checking them. Uh, at yeah. the same time, that does lead to like somebody else mentioned. Uh, there's a lot of questions on Reddit about the power imbalance, and I think there was one earlier. I mean, that that leads mm -hmm. to one, and that that is a serious issue, mm -hmm. and that's that that will lead to the just different but just as horrible problem. What does Limbs think about your disordered eating? I don't like it at all. So that I already said, like basically, she's on the carnivore diet. Uh, it you can lose weight on the carnivore diet, but I'll it's block not him. good for you. Go ahead. Uh, and uh, you know, I do I do understand that a ketogenic diet is beneficial and keep for PCOS. So I would support that if she had a ketogenic diet. Uh, I still think mods. That... Can you block Calico? I can't find his dumbass now. Thank you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. So yeah, that's. Yeah, he doesn't like it. Yeah, so I don't like it. I, I he understand. tries to help me. Like I said, I always make a second helping of carb, low carb vegetables, and I just have to eat a lot of low carb vegetables when she's around, so that there's always some available for her should she want to eat something. And she knows I want it's, her to eat them. It's very late where my mods are, so that's it's most of my mods. It's very late where they are, so I'm I'm cutting them some slack right now. Okay, bye everybody. I hope that um, we were able to answer some of your questions, but more will be answered in the member stream. Bye.